Inconvenient Truth Podcast. All right. So, Lil Wayne drops an album, Funeral. The thing about this album, right, it's like he said in an interview, don't go in it with expectations. He's going to exceed all expectations, right? I went in it with expectations, you know what I mean? First listen. Not really, but kind of. I felt like he was going to be rapping, rapping. You know what I mean? I know he was going to be rapping, rapping. I just... My expectations was, was high, you know what I mean? And I know that's not good, you know what I mean? He's probably just, just drop it as a surprise album, like Eminem. Because when you when you he when you announce it like that, like I was expecting this shit to be fire, fire, like every track. It sounded like a like a mixtape, honestly. It sounded like a mixtape. And from the name I knew it was gonna be like yeah. But he says it's an album album. It sounds like an album album from the beginning. But then when you go into the tracks, it's like, okay. <laughs> it's it's kind of too long. And, like, by track eight, you kind of get annoyed of his voice. Like, I wish he could he had used more features. Maybe brought in some writers. Because it's like, like I said, it sounds like a mixtape. You know what I mean? It's dope. Uh, on a scale of one to five. I give it a 4. But on a scale of 1 to 10, I give it a 7. I know it's weird. I just I came up with it last night. I don't know how it makes sense, like, percentage-wise. But, like, I, I use the higher scale as a 7. 70 is passing. 4, that's still 90%. 4 out of 5. But it's just... It, okay, I'll... Breaking it down, like, lyrically, beats, stuff like that, I would have to do a different rating. So, lyrically, I would give it a 5. Beats, on a scale of 1 to 5, I'd give it a 5, lyrically. As far as beats, I'd give it a 2 for beats. Um, Hooks, hooks is 5. How it comes with it bad hooks but it's just like the verses were like off like i was expecting some like out of the box type wayne type he came with that but it was just like it wasn't over the edge you know it was like average so that's what i would say it was like average shout out to wayne you know what i mean we should have same birthday september 27th you know what i mean i look at him as a brother you know what i mean he been through a lot he is a goat you know what I mean? He said he got 20 more albums in his back pocket. And I believe him. He's a rapper, rapper like me. You know what I mean? But as far as... I felt like he 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 was constipated with music. He got a lot of music. Yeah, he got a lot of music. And I just... I look forward to hearing it. You know what I mean? Some, some good stuff. Quality. Like... Just like... He probably... Honestly, this is this is my take on it, my analyzation. He gotta pay taxes. Or he paid taxes, so he putting it out to get some money. You know what I mean? He was on Mass Singer, shout out to that. This amazing promo. The number one show on television. I don't know who watches television, but it is. Is is there. People are obviously watching it. So shout out to Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? He's the best, you know what I mean? It's like <laughs> he started writing when he was little. He started rapping when he was eight years old. You know what I mean? Birdman saw him, took him, got him. He signed. You know what I mean? Got into deal. Now he's out. Now he owns everything. Young Money. Shout out to Young Money. You know what I mean? He also had um, good features. Take Off, Lil Baby, um, Lil Twist. Amazingly, surprisingly, Lil Twist come out of the closet. I don't know where he been. Hiding, but he got a little twist on the song. Shout out to Lil Twist. So he got an Australian fiance, you know what I mean? He's about in his 40s almost. He's living his life, you know what I mean? Surprising to see he's still out here rapping, making moves on Masked Singer, stuff like that, dancing, doing the robot. He was a robot. The mask was a robot. They called the Masked Singer, but the whole body's in a costume. She called the Costume Singer. But 
shout out to Lil Wayne, you know what I mean? It was an album, you know what I mean? Um, hopefully it does number one, you know what I mean? Gotta, gotta get some promo to beat Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich taking over the streets. Eat, ooh, the box in this brick. But yeah, that's my take on that album. Shout out to Lil Wayne. Like I said, he got albums in the back pocket. You know what I mean? He's constipated with music because of he, his struggle with his contract and record deal. You know what I mean? So he got music to put out. You know what I mean? He put out this album. I feel like it was dated as well. The music sounded very extremely dated he did mention some 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 mentions of like Fortnite that some some trending topics of today he mentioned like battle royale and stuff like that to see that he's up to date and he also put 24 seconds of silence at the end of one song number eight to signify kobe rest in peace to kobe you know what i mean so you know, he's also mentioned Black Mamba in one song as well. So it's not that he's, you know what I mean, in the closet, hit it up, not knowing about other artists. You know what I mean? He only listens to his music. You know what I mean? He only listens to what he last recorded. You know, shout out to that. Shout out to his work ethic and everything like that. You squash a beef with Young Thug. But that's my take on that album. We could talk for days about Lil Wayne. You know what I mean? That was my favorite artist growing up, and it still is. You know what I mean? So I, I like the album, I like about eight songs on the album, and it's a dope album, you know what I mean? It's a project, you know what I mean? People can put out a project and have people talk about it like they're talking about Lil Wayne. Love it or hate him, love it or hate it, he is the GOAT. Love or hate the album, it's an album, it's music, it's, you know what I mean, hooks, songs, you know what I mean, verses, flows, bars, you know what I mean? Most people can't do that. You know what I mean? Or most people have it to do that. And people that criticizing, what are you doing with your life? You know what I mean? So shout out to Lil Wayne, the best rapper alive. It's Kalaraji. Out. Peace. This is the Inconvenient Truth Podcast with Kalaraji, where we give you the truth, no matter how inconvenient it may be.